What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to another Best Bets episode. I'm your host, Maddie Chucks, with my co-host, Austin's Props. Fresh off a great first Best Bets video. We went 2-0. and One play cashed easily. The other one was kind of a miracle comeback. No need to say whose was whose. But, you know, either way, solid start. Let's keep it going. Austin, how are you, brother? I'm feeling good, man. Every time we win coins, you can't really feel bad. You know what I mean? I'm excited. Basketball is finally back hoping for some outcomes to go in our favor. And, yeah, I think we got some good plays here that definitely have an edge. Yeah, uh, we got a nice big slate today. Uh, we're trying to keep this video pretty short for you guys, uh, getting out a little bit later than usual. But I know you have this first play uh, in the Pacers game, so why don't you talk about that for a second? Yeah, for me, this is probably my favorite play of the day. It's going to be a fast-paced game, 236 total which is a bit higher for Dallas games if you've seen them they're a slower paced team so obviously they Vegas thinks this one's going to get up and down the court Holly Burton's been averaging 19.9 potential assists in the last 10 games 10.2 assists so really good spot honestly Dallas allows the fourth most assist to point guards while being a slower paced team so I kind of think in a faster paced game I could see him grabbing 12 to 13 assists tonight so Definitely really like this spot personally. Yeah, I think it's a fantastic spot. Honestly, I see, um, you know, for good reason, potential assists are there. It's really going to just be if the Pacers can knock down some shots, he's going to put the ball in their hands. So uh, he's, I know he's going to do his job. It's not like he's going to, you know, not have the opportunities. It's going to be can the Pacers do it. And the highest total on the board uh, of the night is a great, you know, game to root for some points scored and some assists. So, Love that spot for you. We do have another game that I'm going to get some hate for this play. We talked about it before the show. Uh, you kind of like it, but you're scared of it too. Um, and it's the Trailblazers versus the Warriors under 236 on FanDuel. Second highest total on the board. I know what you're thinking. When you first look at these two teams, you're thinking the Trailblazers score and they don't play defense. Warriors kind of the same thing. But I think this total is a little too high. The Trailblazers are 3-7. and seven to the over so seven and three to the under their last 10 road games uh damian lillard is a little bit not i want to say worse on the road but he averages more minutes but less points a game less field goal attempts he averages 33.9 points a game at home and only 29.9 i say only 29.9 as it's not a lot but for him he's under 30 and he averages 34 at home so i'm getting a little bit you know, for him to struggle a little bit on the road versus the Warriors here. And same with Jordan Poole is the opposite. He averages less points at home and less field goal attempts at home than he does on the road. The only person I got to worry about, I think, in this game is if Klay Thompson just, you know, has one of those 50-point, you know, games, those that third quarter he had or whatever years back where he just doesn't miss from deep. And I'll lose my bet if that happens, but I think there's too high of a total here. It's 118 for both teams. Your thoughts now that we're now that we're recording, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, on paper it's like a gross bet. You th- like people are gonna lean the over. I think honestly, if Portland has Dame struggle at all, like if he doesn't realistically drop forty, I don't see them being able to get a hundred and eighteen points to cover half their portion. You know what I mean? And so like you're basically needing the Warriors to go for 130 points if Dame struggles. So I kind of think if Dame struggles or if Clay struggles, like you said, you're going to be in a pretty good position. I think minimizing the three-point attempts is going to be big. And really on Portland, I think the only guy you have to worry about is Dame. I'm not really too scared about Tybal, Cam Reddish, like Jeremy yeah. Grant, I guess. So definitely an interesting spot. And I think I would lean the under as well. So, yeah, I mean, it's gross, but gross plays hit, you know. I mean, yeah, uh, Matisse, he averages three points a game, and he's there pretty much to play defense. So if he can lock up, he's probably going to guard Clay. I'd assume. Uh, If he does, you know, stop Clay a little bit, I think we're in great position. So it's going to be gross. If it just doesn't cash, feel free to roast me, which you're going to do anyway. But I like it tonight. A little sharp. like to be sharp there. Uh, We do have a fun game in uh, the Thunder Kings game. Um, I think we... This is your second time now betting on Kings games on the show. You think you got a good read for either side here? I know it's a prop. What do you like in in this game today? Yeah, what I like about the Kings, honestly, is you know it's going to be a fast-paced game with not the best defense, but they keep games close. So for me, I'm aiming at a prop. I like Isaiah Joe for the Thunder at 16.5 points. 
He's a 40% three-point shooter. He's one of the best three-point shooters in the game that nobody talks about. SGA ruled out huge for usage. Giddy's going to get some usage. Isaiah Joe's going to get some usage. Lou Dort's going to get some usage. But the bench isn't super deep. They're kind of starting Isaiah Joe, their best bench piece now. And he just came off a 26-point game against them, absolutely shooting the lights out. He's he's dropped 26 and 24 in both games as a starter. So if he sees 30 minutes, the volume's going to be there because shots have to be there with no SGA. I think it's just a good spot for him, and I think the line's mispriced. I think this one should be around 18 and a half for a guy like him, just with how fast-paced this game's going to be. I like it. Um, I like you said, and when you, when you play basketball and you have confidence, when you just scored versus a certain team or you're, you're feeling it, you know, you, you tend to carry it over and you start to feel yourself and you feel confident. And that, that's what he's going to need to do. I have a fun play in this game. It's not really going to be an official play, but it's going off kind of your play in hand. And I have a fun play of Josh Giddy triple double plus 1100. Um, in the last eight games he's played without SGA, he's had a triple double in three of them. He had a double double in another one. Um, and he's been hovering. He's got at least five in every category in six of the eight. So I think he'll be heavily involved. And, you know, with no SGA, there's rebounds up for grabs. There's assists up for grabs. There's points up for grabs. SGA pretty much does it all. So he's going to leave this open. And I think, you know, Giddy's got to get his assist somewhere. And I think Isaiah Joe spacing the floor and, you know, putting points, putting points up is really going to be his job. It's going to be Josh Giddy to create some plays and Joe to, his job is strictly going to be to put shots up and try and score. So I think they kind of go hand in hand, and I think Giddy's going to be on triple double watch. So that's my fun play. Again, it's obviously a sprinkle. I'm not going to ever make a plus 1100 an official one unit play, but if you want to sprinkle right. like you know 0.1 units on this, by all by all means, have a day. That pretty much sums it up. Uh, we will have uh, another show on Thursday. Again, we don't have a name yet. We're just going to do best bets. Um, that's pretty much what we kind of came up with. We are undefeated on this show. We're going to try and carry that over and try and say that again for our next show. Anything else you want to say before we head out? Drop some comments of what we should name it because we got to figure something out other than best bets. So drop some comments. Maybe we'll do a little giveaway if someone gets the title that sticks. You know, I'm I'm down. And it's got to yeah, say something along like best creative. bets. Right. I don't want anything really like out there that's like, oh, like. Chuck props or something. Yeah, it's got, it's got to be something you know, that hasn't been done. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, don't, combi- don't combine our names. Like, we're not yeah. doing anything like that. But, yeah, definitely would like something different, you know, that hasn't been done. Maybe sprinkle a little giveaway if someone gets something creative and it sticks. I'm down. I love it. Uh, well, those are the plays. I'll run through them again real quick. Tyrese Halliburton, over nine and a half assists from Austin. Trailblazers versus Warriors under 236 from me. Austin, again, with Isaiah Joe, over 16 and a half points. One thing he forgot is it is two first names. All the GOATs do have two first names. You know, right. Bron James, Michael Jordan, Kobe Bryant, Tom Brady, Isaiah Joe, Ricky I Bobby. Love narr- I love it. that narrative. That's a list. And Josh Giddy, you know, you're not the GOAT, but you can you can be on triple double watch. And that's basically all you're good for today. That's it. Thank you guys for tuning in. Again, as Austin said, please leave a comment at all, just saying hi, or give us a name for a show. And that's going to be it for our best bet show. We'll see you guys next time. Best luck in your bets tonight.